comfortable if I uh, post this online, but uh, let's keep it small today, okay? It's you and I. You and I in the table of time.
Okay. Alright. Repeat table of time. Uh, okay, so uh, now we're going to change. Uh, that was full and free, and we're going to stay full and free, but we're going to change the page. We're going to change the book. And we're going to go to stick control. <clears throat> and we're going to go to page 8. And we're going to continue with this. Uh, continue with this idea of uh, full and free stroking. Yeah, I think the, the cameras are in nice, nice positions now. Right, so the way I'm doing this, I'm going to do it like, you know, four times each, and then I'm going to go across the columns, and then I'm going to go down the columns after going across. So it's across and down, across and down, across and down, four times each. <coughs> I'm only going to do <coughs> four exercises, two, two lines at a time, and then I'm going to do a, a bit of an endurance vamp. With two hands, a single stroke roll, and then I'm going to stop and we'll increment. This is 40, and then we'll increment and do the next four, and that'll be the pattern for the page. Okay, any questions? Tech talk, any questions, suggestions? Uh, Anything you'd like to say, you got a chat room there, type it in. I see it. I'll respond to it. Also, if you'd like to, uh, you could uh, call in here. I'm going to list in the chat room what my uh, Skype ID is, which is very difficult to remember and to spell and to type. You'll see what I mean as soon as I type it. There. And if you have a, a Skype account, you can use that ID and call here right now and talk to me directly if you don't want to go through the, ch the chat system, which is much slower. And one on one is a lot more direct. <clears throat> and uh, if you got a cam, you can say hi to everybody. So, if not, I'm going to continue with this warm up. Thing that I'm doing, right? Unless you have something you want to say or ask or request. One, two,
Okay. The increment goes to 42 now, on a metronome. All right. Mm -hmm. One, two, Questions yet? No? Okay. One, two.
Okay, you got the uh, second inversion parallel is the beginning of this, and and then A goes to three or one hand, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the third inversion after the second inversion of the parallel, which is not written. Okay? If you didn't follow that, just watch. One, two. Okay, now we get to the threes. Three on one hand, three on the other hand. One, two. Okay, now we invert that three on one hand. We do the inversion, first inversion of that. 
One, two. the wrong direction. It's going to the right, it should have been going to the left. Hey Robert, Robert Long has a question. Excellent. Okay, the benefits of this page. There's a lot of them. It also depends on how you do it. The way I'm doing it now uh, I'm getting the benefit of uh, operating in my full dynamic range level. That's why it's called a full stroke. Okay, and I'm using uh, a, an eighth note subdivision. So I'm learning how much space I have, which is 18 inches. I know what that feels like now. I'm also learning how much time it takes me to get through that space within a given parameter of time. How, how, not how much time it takes me, but how fast do I have to move to get up and down and not to overshoot the energy I need to do that. To just use the energy I need so that the stroke is, is moving very smoothly up and down. At the eighth note, linear wrist speed. Then you have, then you have this linear wrist speed, it's different. This linear wrist speed is faster than this, this uh, linear wrist speed. If you don't know what these speeds feel like at these tempos, you won't be able to hit them like I'm hitting them. So that's two subdivisions, two linear speeds that you need to learn how to judge. Then there's this one. Which is really this. Which is another speed, which is which is double this speed. It's a third linear speed that I have to understand what that linear speed is and how it relates to the space I'm working in and what kind of time frame I need to get up and down in and what is the speed requirement for me to do that. <laughs> the minimum speed requirement. And then I'm adding my own vamp after that. Which is another speed, a fourth speed. Whereas if you work just with the first five pages, you're only working with one speed at a time. You're not learning how to adjust your linear speed. I 
I know how fast up and down I need to move in order to make the distance within the time frame from the height that I'm working, that I want to work from. And there's a lot of different uh, uh, subdivisional breakdowns or uh, linear speeds that I need to master and to be able to come to change my wrist speed from one division to the other or from one speed one linear speed to the other smoothly without breaking the time and without breaking the volume getting getting the the volume to match and getting the heights that remain the same uh, and getting the transitions between the stickings and not to pull the time or pull the sound away from the center. There's a lot of problems to work on. You know, it takes a lot of work on the first three pages just learning how to do this basic stroke on one linear speed before you start. You know, which is why I do the table of time before I even do this stuff. The first thing I do every day is the table of time. Why? It goes through 12 linear subdivisional speeds from quarter note to uh, 16 note triplets one division at a time <clears throat> and I get to learn what the linear speed is for each division at 40 then I got to do it again at 42 because all the relationships change they change again at 44 they change again at 46 that's why every time I do an exercise, I, I work up one notch at a time from, my, from the lowest level I want to work on, which is practically a walk or a crawl. And I, I notch one notch at a time like I'm walking up a, a stairway. Because every time I notch up, it changes the physical requirements of the linear speeds and the relationships between the subdivisions. <clears throat> and it changes how it feels. Changes the energy requirements. That's why I like this page. Got a lot of range in it. The acceleration range is much larger. At the same 40, <clears throat> I'm doing a single uh, 3 to 2 multiplier. And then a six, to, a six to two multiplier, and then an eight to one multiplier. In terms of speed, <clears throat> on one page. So where was I? This one. Thanks for the question, Robert. That was a good question. And a good opportunity to explain a lot of things. Very simple question. But very, very well pointed. Hmm.
All right, we're down to the bottom now. I can do the four. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the drags, yeah, because it's the, that's, that's the highest linear speed. It's hard to keep up <coughs> the speed to match the same uh, volume of the, the lower uh, linear speed subdivision. Table at a time is tough, yeah, you know, but so you have to do it every day. You know, it's not a matter of. Uh, uh, learning it, it's a matter of doing it. It takes years to learn it. <laughs> but you have to do it every day. And then, and that will seep into your other subdivisional work. You know, well, every time you do use a subdivision, it'll become a lot clearer what that sub, what, where you're going. You're going to know what it sounds like before you get there, and you're going to hit it. You know, uh, with a little more confidence and with a little more accuracy and your time will be a little more steady when you uh, do a fill and you do a subdivisional, you know, uh, permutation on the fill. Unless you want to play eighth note fills your whole life. Bottom line. One, two, one, two, three, four. Page 10. the two together on the archive. The, 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 the Joe Morello talk is at the end of the Master two, the Master Studies to uh, uh, Master Class. And then I, I, I attached the, uh, the round table talk <clears throat> about Joe uh, at the end of that, after the Master Class, at the end of the archive. It's a two hour archive. I cut it down a little bit. I mean, the, the, the Master Class was an hour of an hour fifty, and the uh, and the, the the Joe Morello discussion was fifty two minutes, I think, and I got the whole thing in under two hours <clears throat> together, so it moves a little better. And there's a couple of things that are not in the archive that were in the stream live, but I'm glad you liked it, Robert. Thanks for watching. So I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna do this page again without the uh, without the sixteenth notes. It's getting too fast. 
I not that I can't do it, but I don't want to strain. I don't really. The idea is here is not to not to get involve yourself with any muscle strain at all if you can avoid it. There has, there has to be some. As the uh, tempo increases, uh, your energy level is is going to rise. The energy required from you is going to be is going to rise. But the idea is to keep it at a minimum so you never really work much at all. Which is why my endurance looks so good. It's not because I have a lot of muscles. I have good muscle tone, but I don't have I don't have a lot of muscle mass. I don't have a lot of muscle power. I'm 68 years old. <clears throat> I'm not as strong as I was. So I'm not using strength. Uh, you know, it's not about that. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Sorry, from number one again, but without all those uh, endurance vamps. Because like I said, uh, uh, I could do it, but I don't want to push. Uh, uh, I want to do everything comfortably. If I can't do it comfortably, then. Uh, I can't use it. <clears throat> One, two, three. Mm -hmm. to do that. <laughs> no 16 notes. One, two, three, I do, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll try, try for tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll, I'll give you a call. Excellent. Okay. okay. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. 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 Well, okay. I'm free. I have the whole day to do this. 
You guys are gonna be captive. A captive audience now. Until the sun comes down. Okay, where was I? Oh, uh, power, I'm doing power drills, right? Second inversion, and I'm going to add the third inversion that's not written. One, two, three.
now the four is because there's only one left here, so I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do 1224. Then I'm going to do 1224 again just to fill up the space. One, two, three. twice. I don't want to do it three times. It's against my religion to do a page three times. Not true. I do some pages more than three times. <coughs> but I, I uh, would like to go on to page nine. I think it's time to move on to another page, aren't you? And then page nine is the same kind of idea, but he changes the format a little bit and, and, the, and the emphasis and focus. He adds a little endurance uh, to it, uh, gets rid of the acceleration emphasis of the of the drags. So there's no new drags, and he adds a little bit of endurance on the camp. He's shifting the focus from a speed, because the tempo is now high, so I'm not, I'm not concerned about speed anyway normally. But if we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, except when you're, when I'm playing slow, again I'm concerned about speed. Uh, and uh, so I'll do this four times each too, and, and this is gonna, these lines are twice as long as the previous page anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna wind up doing two lines, and then incrementing at that point. And if you want to know where we are now, I don't. I haven't been counting the increments anymore. I don't really care to know. I think it's. I find it's better if you don't know where you are. You don't know how hard it's supposed to be. So I won't tell you. I'll tell you at the end. One, two.
five. Now I'll go to five. <laughs> now we'll do five. <clears throat> One, two. One, two. strokes in them there's going to be multiple strokes more than two on a transition between one exercise and the other <coughs> I'm going to ignore that uh, challenge and just uh, go through it <coughs> that's not the object the object is to do the patterns one two three four uh. Maybe we'll try to follow the stick better one two Okay, so it's time for a break now. Since I've pushed my muscles to their maximum relaxed state of intensity. Whatever that means. So I need to take a break now. I'm gonna take a, a little bit of a break. I'm going to put a little music on for you that I did with uh, Ron McClure just to entertain you in, in case you're thinking of going somewhere. And I'm going to shut my mic down so we don't get any feedback loops and that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to take a little break, come back, and then we'll, then we'll, I'll tell you what. I'll come back and do the table of time half stroke and show you how to practice coming in and out of subdivisions like this using the table of time. How's that? All right. 
Okay, I'm shutting my microphone down now, so so long for a few moments. And I'll be back after this break. Okay?
Yeah, around the floor. Had a great time doing that. All right, so uh, earlier Robin Long asked me a question about why I was doing uh, page eight, I suppose, and uh, the implied part of the question was why uh, why wasn't I using five, six, and seven like I normally do? And I went through a whole thing about all these subdivisions, the challenges, the linear wrist division, the wrist speed challenges between divisions, and getting, uh, getting to know what they are, what they feel like, and being able to judge them and control them and change them at will accurately. You have to go through all the tempos, you have to practice at all the distances. Uh, so, uh, but a good way to uh, do that, without having to do page 8 and 9, or 10 and 11 and 12, 20 times each from, from 40 to 208, which is really what we're talking about, from 18 inches high to, uh, to a quarter stroke off the head. One of the ways uh, to attack the issues of changing subdivisions accurately and controlling the wrist speed in and out, both going to a higher subdivision and going to a lower subdivision, two different issues. Uh, our tendencies as humans, at least mine was, maybe I'm not human, but my tendency was uh, to uh, uh, subdivide quicker than needed when I was going to a higher subdivision and to subdivide slower than needed uh, and going to a lower subdivision, which meant uh, essentially when I was playing that every time I would do, a, uh, I would change the subdivision to a higher subdivision, I would uh, speed the tempo up and every time I change the subdivision to a lower subdivision, I would be slowing the tempo down. And uh, if I was lucky, I used an even amount of subdivisions, higher and lower from the base subdivision and the mean temp tempo worked out. So I wound up with the same tempo that I started with. Everybody thought I had good time. <clears throat> so. But we can work on our time uh, by working on our subdivisions. Obviously, the, the more accurate our subdivisions are, the more accurate our time is. Spread. As, uh, and, and the more relevant that becomes, the more often you use subdivisions in your playing. And, and subdivisions is the basis of our vocabulary. And phrasing is the vocabulary, but the phrasing is based on a subdivisional foundation. So, if you change, this, if you change the subdivisional foundation of the vocabulary, it becomes a different vocabulary. Mm. All right, I gotta shut up. <laughs> so the table of time. Normally, I do this as a warm up, and I do it full stroke, and it's great. I go straight up the table, so four times each, and I go right up the table to uh, thirty second triplets. Wow, front quarter notes, and everything in between. It's great. So there's nothing I can't subdivide now. And I don't know what it sounds like, and nothing that I, I don't know what it feels like at full stroke, as long as I'm going upward. <laughs> so, but I, I that's not my normal playing level. I want to learn to play normally uh, uh, and subdivide too, not only when I'm accenting. So I'm going to do it half stroke now. And uh, because it's half stroke, I'm going to use a faster metronome setting, and I'm going to, and, and I'm going to use a faster stroke speed. Because I've made it a lot easier by going to half stroke. Made it easier in some ways, in terms of energy level, but I made it harder in terms of uh, response level. Cut, I'm using half the amount of energy, but I'm also getting half the amount of response back, so it takes, a, it takes twice as much control. And we're going to work on that control between subdivisions. So uh, when I do this full stroke, I do it at 40. So when I do it in half stroke, I'm going to increase the metronome to 50, which is a 25% increase. But you're going to say, well, how, how, how. Well, I did a 100% I did a cut down in the height on the energy, energy level. 
and the morning increase from the speed by 25%. So on top of that, I'm going to start the exercise at line five instead of line one. So we're gonna begin a lot further up on the stroking architecture and I'm going to give it a nice pump on the tempo itself. And it, and it starts to become a single stroke exercise now. So uh, here we go. So we're covering a lot of ground here. here we go. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna practice all of our subdivisions between 16th notes and 32nd note triplets. And practice coming into them and coming out of them, going from a lower range to a higher range or from a, low, a higher range to a lower range on all of them. Now we're going to be practicing an endurance exercise because we're not going to stop until the end. And it's going to be a single stroke exercise because that's the sticky. And I'm not going to play any accents. Because I, want, I don't want to delineate the time with accents. I want to delineate the time with the subdivision. Okay. So here's the metronome. And the, now the format of the exercise, I'll give you the outline of it now. So the format, it's 50. It's the center of Largo, by the way, right in the middle of Largo. At that center of Largo, right on the R. Uh, so I'm going to uh, so I'm going to do four bars each, but this time I'm not going to go straight up. I'm going to do four bars, and then I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to, so I'm going to start with uh, with sixteenth notes, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and, a. and I'm going to go to the five. And one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One bar of sixteenths, one bar of quintuplets, one bar of sixteenths, one bar of quintuplets. Four times. It's four bars each. It's a two bar exercise. Eight bars all together. At the end of the eight bars, I'm sitting on the on the quintuplet side. When I start the second pattern, I'm going to continue, I'm going to stay on the second, I'm going to the side, I'm going to switch it from the second position in the pattern to the first position in the pattern, and then the, the second position in the pattern will become the sixes. Okay? And then I'm going to go back and forth four times doing the sixes, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then I'm going to, the last time around, I'm going to wind up on the sixes. I'm going to stay on the sixes and shift it to the first position. Do the sevens. I'm going to walk my way up that way, back and forth. Instead of just walking straight up the stairway, I'm going to step up, step up, step up, step up, step, 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 step. So I'm going to go up and down in the subdivisions. So I'm going to have to speed up my subdivision, and then I'm going to have to slow it down. And then I have to speed it up, and I have to slow it down. And then I'm going to have to go to a higher subdivision and do the same thing. Over and over again and get used to how, what it's like to speed into these subdivisions, how to speed out of the subdivisions above them, how to speed out of the subdivisions below them. How to speed up, how to speed down. Okay. I suggest you do this uh, table of time at full stroke, doing it the way I normally do it first, just to learn how the subdivisions sound and what they feel like. So we should be working much, uh, much quicker here. You're not going to have time to learn the subdivisions. You have to know them. So do the do it full stroke first <coughs> at forty and straight up. See how far you get. You don't have to get to the end. You don't have to get to twelve. <coughs> Eight is a good beginning. If you get to eight, you're doing great. <coughs> All right, here we go. One e and a two e and a three e and a
That's great. Great job. There's so many things going on there. But, oh, okay, so I went to 52. I, I notched it up two beats per minute. It seemed like much at the quarter note level. It may not seem like much at the, at the 16th note level. <clears throat> I'm going to feel it at the end. <coughs> so I'm going to continue. I'm going to do this and go up uh, the metronomic scale one one notch at a time so that I touch every tempo and every subdivision along the way. It doesn't matter the, what the leader counts off, I can subdivide it. I know what it feels like, I know what it sounds like. One, two, three.
All right, here we, we, should we try a third one? We have, we're 50 or 52. We're 54 now. You, see, you want to see what it looks like at 54? Can you see the difference at the top? You can't, it's hard to tell at the bottom when I start, but when you, see, when you get to the top, you can see the difference, right? One, two, three.
58 anyone? No, I don't want to do 58. I don't want to do 60. I don't want to do 63. I don't want to do 66. I don't want to do 60, 69. I don't want to do, I want to do 72. <coughs> I'm going to go to 72 now. And I'm going to change the page. I'm not going to go back to page five in the sick control book. Yeah, the old standby. I use the same material over and over again. Hmm. I should be bored by now, I think. Sickertro. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm, now I'm going to go and do the uh, the four by four stuff, the four bar exercise, four bar band. Can you ever explain? I must have explained this. There's some of you out there that are there. Let's say, you know, I'm doing one repeat on each exercise and then I'm bamping on one hand for four bars, which is the same amount of time as the exercise. And the evening, even numbers, I'm bamping on the left hand. And the odd numbers, I'm bamping on, at the end. And then I'm leading into the next exercise, too. The even exercise. And the even exercise, I'm coming out and uh, leading the bamp with the right hand. Leading into the odd ex next odd exercise. And then so forth. Probably do one column. I usually do a page, but because I did four table of times, I'm pretty well uh, into the half stroke at this point. So I can move a little quicker. I don't want to start in the middle of this. I'm going to start at the beginning, but I'm going to move through it quicker than I normally do, twice as fast as I normally do. One. Two and one and two and
Okay, we got increments. And do the next column. In the same way. One, two, Okay, we're gonna have to move the page up to six. We keep, inc we keep incrementing that metronome. now. I'm gonna move the page to six now. One.
Okay, I'm going to do the next line, next column. One, two, three, four. Seven now. I don't know where we want to match on anymore. Let's track good. Don't want to know. Don't want to know. Okay. Page seven. One, two.
other column <clears throat> one, two, Back to page five, but we're going to change this. I'm, I'm tired of doing four by fours. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do two by twos now. I'm going to cut it in half. I'll do the whole page, though, to make up the difference in the time.
And let's go to the next page. Yeah, it's page six is next. There you go. One, two. Stop doing these vamps all together now, uh, and I'm going to double up the counts on the number of times I'm going to do the exercise. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to do seven without any vamps, and I'm going to do them four times each instead of two times each. I think it is. Whatever it is, here we go. A one and a two and a three. Ah. Two. Three. Last time.
Alright, we got another column. Let's get our next column. One, two, Okay. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's let's work our way back. Seven. Let's do six. I like to go backwards when I'm doing this one. One. Two.
to page one. Page one. I know page five. There's no page one is. Hello. The first page is page five. One. Okay, <laughs> I got another column to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, Stop doing the threes and the fours, and we're gonna do just ones and twos. There's gonna be some threes and fours on transitions, but I can't help that. One, two.
asked me that again. I like that. I think I got another one of those in me. One, two, You notice I don't check the mesh note to see what I got until I'm done. And then I see where I am. I don't look at the mesh note and decide to stop by the mesh note. I decide to stop by me and then I see what the mesh note has to say. And I like what the mesh note says. I stopped in the right place. It's time for me to stop and take a rest again. So uh, the next thing that uh, comes up for me now is uh, 
I did full strokes and then I did half strokes. And it's been almost two and three quarter hours already. And with some breaks, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna put the two together. This, this requires control strokes and some arm movements. <clears throat> but before I do that, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna. So, uh, where were we with Ron? I want to finish. Are we here? Oh, not quite. We're nine. I think we're. I this might repeat some of the last bit of what you heard earlier, but I, here's another six minutes or so of Ron and me. Uh, so I can uh, recoup a little bit and come back and do the accents for you. Okay. Thank you. 
fun to do with him. Okay, uh, accents, uh, so let me show you this before I begin, so you can digest it, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put two, I'm going to show you what I'd like to do when I work on my own. Uh, I like to combine exercises, when, uh, when, uh, I like to combine books. So, uh, Master Studies has a warm-up series. This is the first one. Yeah, this is a very simple series. It's uh, every other accent, every third accent, every fourth, every fifth, every sixth. Sometimes I even do every seventh even though it's not written. Um, so, I mean, there's not much to see here. Uh, you don't have to, you know, the two, the three, the four, the five, and the six accent. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use, and this is a warm-up, so I'm going to use this as a warm-up, but I'm going to use this as a mini warm-up. I've already warmed up with full strokes. So I like to I like to warm up again. It's great, but I'm, I don't really need to. But I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm up before each each exercise in another book, using this as a warm up and then do the exercise without stopping, so that it's a warm up to the exercise, which prepares me to even get into a better position when I start the exercise. It magnifies uh, my uh, uh, my result. When I do this, this warms me up and gets me to a certain level, and the exercise takes me from there and pops me up to another level. And then I and then I push the metronome and I do the same thing. I warm up again and I do the exercise. It's sort of I keep uh, pushing ahead, throwing my energy into the next exercise. Always preparing one exercise prepares to the next one to the next one. So uh, what I'm gonna, I, I, now what I do after this could be a lot of things. It could be the stick. Uh, it could be you know, the Masters One book. It could be the uh, the, the Access of Rebound book. It could be the Masters Two book. Now that I went through the Masters Two book, I could I could do some of that material that uh, Sam showed me on Sunday. Uh, but I think uh, I'll stick to s stuff that I know more intimately for now. I'll work on new material off camera, if you don't mind. Uh, I mean, I expose myself pretty much <laughs> sight reading messages to for everybody, so you see what that's like. But I, I got it. 
to, to really instruct me, but Sam was in control of that master class. If I'm going to do a master class here on a book, I want to be intimate with the material before I present it to you. So. And I promise nothing. So, anyway, uh, so this is the warm up, and then, uh, so I'm going to choose to do, let's choose to do Masters 1, because that's it's pretty interesting. And I'll show you the Masters 1. That's what I'll put up here. This is the Masters 1 is really what you have to look at. Ethan accents. First page. Because this is really uh, the stuff that gets complicated. So I'm going to use uh, before each of these lines, I'm going to use that warm up. I'm going to do that warm up. And then at the end of the warm up, instead of stopping, I'm going to go right into exercise one. And then I'm going to do exercise one four times, and then I'm going to then I'm going to switch it to uh, fill-ins. I think we'll see see how I feel. If not, if I don't switch it to fill-ins. I'll just do it eight times. If I do switch it to fill-ins, I'll do it the fill-ins eight times, and I'll come back and do the eight notes another four times before going on before before going on to exercise two. And then we'll do the and then I'll continue through the page like that. But I'll start with the warm up. And uh, 72 is where I like it. It's just where... Uh, it's not where it is. This is not 72. Mm. That's 72. That's acceptable. So I'm right. Remember, I'm going to do the warm up first, and then I'm going to do this page. I could put both up, I guess. Why do I do that? Why don't Why don't I have to make it difficult for you guys? Why don't I just really show you, show it to you the way I do it? It's so silly sometimes. So let's go back and get the warm up again. Two. Yeah, this would be very good. Then you'll see exactly how I, how I'm doing this. It's, it's like one exercise, but I'm doing putting the two together. So this will work out great. Yeah, look. How can you beat this? So this this is what I'm doing. Okay. Oh my God. It's exactly what I'm doing. Right? That's it. And I'm, but there's a, there's, rep, there's a repeat pattern on Master Studies to warm up. The repeat pattern is uh, uh, four times and then two times twice as long and then another time four times uh, twice as long again. You'll see. Pattern become obvious before we even get to two. One.
about to, I forgot to go into the fillings. Okay, yep, the metronome. I guess that's 76. And, uh, so, we, oh, okay, it's going to work out good. So what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, do the same thing with the warm-up. I'm going to go through the next page of uh, Masters 1. Except I gotta move this down. I'm gonna do it reverse, but the order will remain the same. We're gonna do Lamasters 2 warm up first, and then we're gonna go into number 6 at the top of the page. This is pretty damn good. Wow, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I wish I thought of this earlier. I kept separating this stuff for you guys and not doing it the way I wanted to. I, I didn't want to confuse people, but now it's very clear what I'm going to do. So here we go again, same uh, same uh, routine, except it's a notch higher, and the material for the Masters uh, 1 is different, but the Masters 2 warm up is the same, okay? 1, 2,
Okay. <laughs> this is a great workout, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the uh, Master Studies two, warm up to the top, and expose the uh, the second half of the Master Studies one page. <coughs> and this, and now this is exactly the one I'm gonna do in order. And the way it's supposed to. One, two,
Okay. So we're going to turn the page now on the Master Studies 1. Third page of the eighth note section. And we're going to bring this down so we can expose the top of the page. And we're going to read the bottom first and then do the top. That's the order that we do it in. One, two,
Okay, and uh, I will flip it. One, two.
Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stop doing um, fill-ins. And we'll do the, we're gonna do the whole page now. So I'm gonna change this to the next page. So we're only gonna do eight and eight uh, repeats. So we'll do the whole page. And this will be the warm up. Do that. Okay. One, two. You know what? This was a damn warm up. Let's just do the page. Four times each down. <coughs> One, two, three. of center. Don't have a 
making fun of me now. Anyway. I'm uh, running out of gas here, so I'm gonna uh, I'm Dakota out with uh, the Wilcoxon book. This thing, I might as well show it to you. So this Wilcoxon book. Yeah. Ooh, nice. That's good lighting. So I'm gonna. Uh, this is what I do at the end of my accent uh, routine. The first one. I might do another one later. But it's the paradigm permutation routine that he does. It's more than permutations, he also goes through singles, single shots, double shots, and, and uh, that subdivisional transposition. So, to wherever I end up, I like to go one notch further and then do this and then say goodnight, Gracie. And it's like this. Christian, how are you, Christian? Uh -huh. Isn't that great, the way I put that together? Oh, man, that really kills you. But you, you really need to do this stuff uh, individually and get it together. So you have the, uh, the wherewithal to, to put it together like that. It's a lot of work. All right, so uh, the Wilcox, I don't have a PDF of the Wilcox or a screenshot, sorry. But uh, I just showed it to you, and it's, you, you'll get it. I'll do it slow first, okay? Okay, we're gonna move on. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that's hard. But, I mean, you know, I've been doing that a long time. And I learned, I learned it. Joe Morello was the one who gave me this book and gave me that exercise. And that's his, uh, his mark, marker on it that you see surrounding what he wanted me to do. And the uh, sort of way to learn that, I did this yesterday with somebody called in. Oh, yeah, it was uh, uh, William Tapper. He asked me about the double accent. It was a great question yesterday, and I went through, uh, I was doing access and rebounds then, and I showed it to him in access and rebounds, and then I took this out and I showed it to him in this one. We don't need this anymore. But the way to do this is to do it one at a time. The first one is a straight parallel. And get that down, and then do the second one, which is uh, when, you, when you, if you could do those two and put them to, to put them together into a, into a two bar phrase. You put them into a four bar phrase, two bars each.
So the, the next one is a tricky one. It has the two in a row. So let's... You put that one on. You get that one together. And put that on with the first two. But then extend it with the first two when it gets to be this. By yourself, though. And the last one is the reverse of that, the total inversion of that. Thing. And you put that on and you have this. find it in these like other books. I was just doing that. Here's stuff I have it. Here it is. I'm looking at it. What do you mean? I found it. I got a PDF. You might have to pay for it. Oh, the Master Studies 2. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. This is Master Studies 1. Master Studies 2. Did you see the presentation I did? If you looked at the uh, the pages, they were really screwed up. I mean, the page numbers didn't match the book, and I didn't have. Uh, sometimes it took me two uh, two slides to show you a page because I didn't have a PDF of that either. Uh, that was an electronic uh, book reader. It's called. Uh, Yeah, I'm talking about, yeah. The, the program is called Kobo. K-O-B-O. -O. And it's, uh, it's a library. It's an electronic library online. You, ha you have to join uh, and uh, create an account, and, then you, and you have to purchase access to this. And you can't download it. You can only read it online, which is why I had a, I had a screenshot everything. The entire book. I had a screenshot the entire book so I could use it in the uh, master class. And some of it came out so small you couldn't even see it because I was doing screenshots instead of doing PDFs. So uh, it was all over the place. It was really hard to read. But if you, ha if you had the book at home, uh, Sam was yelling out the page numbers. So you could follow in the book if you wanted to. 
that Sam was following in the book and I was doing it through the slides. So any those were the Kobo slides. Kobo, uh, K-O-B-O. And you purchase books online, access to electronic books. I guess if you got an iPhone or an iPad or a book reader, it's great. You know, you can read, you don't have to, you don't, you buy the book, but you don't store it, store it on the cloud, I guess. And uh, you read it, you read it online, you stream it. So it's not, it doesn't cost that much. I mean, I'd get a hard copy if I were you. Uh, I like having hard copies. The only reason I use, you know, uh, yeah, the only reason I use the electronic copies is because I can't put them on screen unless I get I get uh, the PDF or a screenshot of them. So I can display the exercise, everybody can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, it's very difficult to explain what's going on, you know, if you're not looking at it. Yeah. Hard to pick up. You can't see it. I mean, it goes by so quickly. Unless I do it so slow, and if I do it that slow, it will take forever to get through these things, and I won't really get any work done that way. So I'd rather just put the music up, and then you guys can do it slowly at home. But I suggest to you to get the get the physical copies and work with the physical copies. You know. Uh, but that's how you can get an electronic copy of two. Yeah. So you can read it on the subway. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm sort of blown out here. Uh, I've been through my pretty much my whole uh, first sitting routine. I could I could do a second routine. A second routine would be uh, I would come back and I wouldn't do full strokes again, but I would I would begin with a full Master Two's warm up. I would do the two and three warm up, which would take about twenty minutes to get through. And I would I would rewarm me, and then I'd start doing something else after that. Maybe access to rebounds. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you're in Argentina, no wonder. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the distribution probably doesn't get down there because there's no uh, market call. So that's that's how capitalism works. Books don't go where they're needed. They're, they're going where they can sell them. A lot of them. So you get overlooked. But that's the good part about the internet is that it doesn't matter where you are. Right? But we're going to lose the, uh, the ability to have physical copies in our hands at some point. The libraries are going away and the bookstores are going away. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'll show you the other warm-up. So the, the Master 2 warm-up, I can bring it up and show it to you. But then I'm going to do it, then I'm going to rewarm them. Let me take a break. I want to come back later. If I do this, I'll, I'll do this later. What time is it now? I don't feel like working again. It's only 5 o'clock. All right. Check back in a couple of hours. I need to take care of my dog. I need to take care of me. Uh, regroup, get some food, lunch, dinner, whatever. All right, so I'll come back later, maybe, and uh, I'll show you what I just said. I think this is enough for one sitting. I'm satisfied. So, <clears throat> thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, I'll drop again, and do drop in again, and uh, until then, keep practicing. Okay, don't stop. Bye, Christian.